Hello. Stop yes. Board. What's this I spy? It is Borderlands. We are back. Sorry we were slacking so much. It's not that we had like internet issues. We're just fucking lazy. Yeah. Right? We've, we've been too busy playing video games. Yeah. We really have. I mean, what games have we completed since then? Well, only Mario Galaxy 1. And I guess that just distracted us. One day Tom said he wants to play Super Mario Galaxy, so we ran with it. Yeah. Yes, I'm the ruiner of all your plans. <laughs> he is the ruiner of all time. I, also, we completed um, Armored Core for Answer as well. Yes, we completed Armored Core for Answer. We've just finished Bayonetta on normal difficulty. I know, rather than automatic yeah, mode. Yeah, and basically, I'm going to do like a training thing. Perhaps like rather if I don't show myself on camera. <laughs> Actually, What's if I like... No, 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 we don't need too many yeah. people talking. Tom was at the middle of something. Uh, you can say that after. Oh, yeah. I know, oh. Tom wants to go for a sort of training montage bayonetta so he can yeah, prove himself like, on camera like, he's actually decent at the game. Yeah, I just like decent at bayonetta. And like, perhaps if we like had loads of times on our hands and I actually like felt like felt like I wasn't so ugly that I shouldn't be put on camera. Don't worry, Tom, my hair kit bayonetta 2 will have connect support. You know, you just sit down in the chair and so jerk I off and you finish the like, game. So I can sort of like, this dance. Yeah, yeah, you just pulled no, out. You don't do, do anything, just the character does everything. Actually, for I you. think we should do it to Guile's theme, because Guile's theme is <laughs> never safe. Sakura's theme does not, though. <laughs> so, Wait, you, so this is the Roid Rage Psycho. I have two boss. soldiers. It's just something of a mini boss. We're playing a soldier, so obviously. Will has gone for more healing, I think. Yeah. And support. I've gone for pretty much just damage, because that's. How is I, the side I roll with the kind of. Um, you know, uh, old. Loads, loads of firepower of way of playing video games. I hate to ask this again, but which one am I? You're the top screen. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm on top then. Yes. Very fun. Ah, uh, it's very usual. And I'm holding a golden <laughs> gun. Yeah. I'm totally Scaramanga. In fact, I'm played by Christopher Lee. Now, something went slightly wrong here. We could actually pick up the key. Still, I wish There's I was something of a glitch. Lee. Yes, I wish you were Christopher Lee as well. <laughs> the most, most entertaining car journey ever. Oh, bugger! <laughs> oh, bugger. You're just sitting there bouncing around. Yeah, we spent ages trying to bounce around, trying to pick this fucking thing up. It wouldn't pick us, let us pick Wait, it up. Christopher, he was in Going Postal, wasn't he? I don't know. Well, isn't he just, like, a vampire going around a town killing everyone? Oh, wait, no, I've mixed up everything. <laughs> you mixed... Um, actually, the, the uh, Sky movies... Not Sky movies, uh, the Sky adaptation of Go Postal, the Terry Pratchett book, was very good. Really? I hadn't seen it. It's, 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 it's a lot darker than I was expecting. I found it on YouTube. Uh, hey, look, we can pick it up! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell! We've now got the safe house key. We can now go and kill Sledge, I think. May I ask, how are our viewers? We haven't talked to them in ages. Sorry we haven't called, we got distracted. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Bye. I think most of our viewers need to come from doing the anime sort of uh, commentaries. Just so you know... They say because I haven't been involved with it anyway. Just yeah. so you know, we may have a project, like, lined up. A big <laughs> epic project that yes. may have been distracting us. <laughs> and I want that thing that we haven't really been working on, but still somehow have distracted us massively. We would so have special just... guests, but the Hell Dragon asked for about ten grand, and we couldn't support that. We could pay also, him in, we could we pay him in jelly up. babies. <laughs> Does he like jelly babies? I don't know. I know enough of a stalker to know stuff like that. And no, you're not Tom Baker, so you don't have the amount of jelly babies he'd want. No, unfortunately. You consume over 9,000 jelly babies. So that said, the guy we hope to like have with us is like, we'll eat all your food anyway. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> what? <laughs> a long story involving Joe. It's not a long story. <laughs> yeah. long Basically, story, I bought a big pack of M&Ms, I went around the house, I offered, and, I, and I said, like, you can have as many as you like, Joe. And he just shoveled them into his mouth. <laughs> he basically went, right, you've got a huge handful. And just went, om nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man, Joe is classic sometimes. He really is. We're extremely unprofessional. <laughs> of course, we're not, we're not getting paid to do this. Don't well, worry, I'm sure we'll be like, professional by the time we review something like we'll Scooby-Doo meets the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> yes. Ba-dum-ts. Yes. What? That was actually, it's a really good TV special, that one. Okay. But for now, Borderlands. But for now, d dude, I'm going to watch Scooby 2 vs. The Harlem. <laughs> one thing that I would like to point out, at the time of this recording, it's just been leaked about a new expansion for Borderlands involving a special character that's revealed at the end of the game, which we won't point out. No, don't, Tom. We actually won't. Oh, um, oh, yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was totally gonna do that. I like spoiling things. Don't, don't, don't spoil it. If they haven't worked yeah. out by now, they don't want to tell them to. Well, you can't really game. work it out. It's a really big shock at the end. It's just like, what the fuck? Actually, like, I haven't actually like, I can't remember the ending because I haven't played. I've it. I've seen but, it. I um, think uh, took of three, maybe two or three times. I think now. Yeah, from from what, from what I could tell, it does kind of come out of nowhere. I've never seen the ending in my life. Well, you're lying. You sat here and watched it with us. Uh, no, I probably was asleep. 
Good yeah, point, yes. That's usually what happens. Oh, yeah, this is hey, one of the will, last... Is it worth me getting a copy of this? Yes, it's a very good game. Yeah. This is one of the last recorded ones at the moment, and then we'll be doing our actual play-by-play. Play. Yes, we will be... We, 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 but when we actually record this footage, we didn't actually have the technology at the time to do uh, play and record. But now we come from like an advanced. But then we found like alien technology scattered around. Yeah. After, after, after the time warp that happened, we've lost. We found the We now audacity. finally found the technology to do this. <laughs> you stop mentioning the time warp because I keep thinking of a, another song which is kind of inappropriate. Does it? Well, I can think of as the time warp. Oh. No, I'm thinking of another f- song from that musical. Well, I've don't. never seen that film. I have no it. desire to watch it. Well, oh, talking of Tim the Curry. The best film in the history of film. Fuck off, Tom. They have a Tim Curry, like, voice alike in Wow for the Cataclysm. That's oh, yes. The voice of the Wargans. Oh, they spell Tim yeah. Curry Curry. Hell yeah. So it's Tim Furry. Tim Furry, <laughs> yeah. Very funny, Will. Yeah, so those of you who don't know, the Wargan are werewolf furry characters, and they play that up as much I as possible. I think people, like, use, like, the joke furry, the term furry too much. And also, in case you don't know... Oh yeah, you've got the quarter ice thing. That's pretty rad. Yeah. In case you don't know, I'm a stupidly big WoW geek. Stupid. And I pressed the wrong... I no, pressed the wrong button there. And you're not doing anything. Um, I think I'm hunting racks, actually. <laughs> I'm hunting wax. Uh, racks, eh? Very, very oh, quiet. Oh, yes. I'm looking for... Wait, I was about to say terrorists, then. <laughs> well, that's a Robin Williams joke. I'm looking for tourists. Or Terrence! I'm looking for Tories. <laughs> hey! <comment. down. laughs> Hey. We get Sora, Donald, Terence. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna no. do with Kingdom Hearts Paper at some point? Shh. No, it wouldn't be like a total rip off, and everyone like, no, you're ripping them off. <laughs> no, and then I'd be like, yeah, we totally are, but we totally, but we like. Nothing went to the first one, but then. The first one. Is... Yeah, we we are going to be doing the first one at the moment. We're just stuck at the desk. Make a game because we're totally shit. Kingdom Hearts. Because right. that game's control is a loose as all hell. And because we, we like to rip off Hellfire commentaries in all ways. I mean, we did Super Mario Galaxy. In fairness, they yeah, we did a lot more than commentary commentary did. people tried to rip and off. And there were more of us. Than Actually, why I like Hellfire commentaries the first. They weren't the first, but they are the most famous. Yeah. I like, think. everyone essentially wants to be them. I know, we know I we can't be them. Yeah. We all know how sexy we don't really Americans It's like how all musicians want to be David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> Except David Bowie, of course. I forgot how annoying skanks were. Oh god, it's Mo and Marley, isn't it? Oh yes. I've forgotten about these two fuckers. Accidentally god, I hate them so much. I want to, you know, kill them, burn them, and stuff. Why don't you? What? Why don't you burn them? Yeah, because I have, have no control Nintendo? of what's happening right now. I'm merely the one who was playing it at the time. Doesn't one of you have an Nintendo weapon? No. No. Uh, Reese is no. just popping buckshot into this guy's ass. Ah, oh, you got killed. Oh, okay. No, you're not. Second wind. Lol, wind. <laughs> uh, oh, you and your knob gags, Tom. That was a knob gag. Yeah, oh, good point. It wasn't one. It was just trousy Yeah. Trousy Tom, if you were in M. Night Shyamalan film, you'd be a bender. That'd be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many terrible lines came out of the TV show as well. Like Did the, Avatar The Last Airbender, the film, actually have a twist at the end? I don't know. I've only heard about how bad it is. I heard the twist was that it had nothing to do with the cartoons. No, no, I well, think it had Well, that's to be expected from an adaptation of a children's TV show. Look what happened to Transformers. I think it, I think oh, it did actually, wow. like, like, be fairly loyal. It's just that... Uh, Look what happened to the He-Man and the Master of the Universe um, I don't really TV like to use the term loyal, but like, uh, I, I don't know why. I think true to the um, yeah, source material like, is a better way of saying it. Do you know one of the most loyal uh, show adaptations? What? Pokemon. <laughs> yes, yeah, unfortunately. Much. Actually, <coughs> except it was, it was an adaptation in itself, wasn't it? Yeah. Of a children's... Oh, card <laughs> game. No, well, yes, well, yes but the video, game. video game as well, for the most part. You want card games. You and your Yu-Gi-Oh obsession. Yeah, I actually met little Karibo. Yeah. I gave him a hug, I have one up on you. <laughs> if I met him, I would have just cock-slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Hey! My only claim to fame is I've laughed at Pete Doctor. I'm, I'm, about a, I'm about as ugly and creepy as uh, Tarantino, actually. <laughs> I know we're near as talented. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Yes, burn, motherfucker. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> I got a revolver! 
Wait, are you making fun of Tarantino <laughs> or not? <laughs> I'm Sorry. not honestly sure. Yes, you now have two revolvers. You had a static revolver as well. Yeah, but this one's one of the ones that actually does damage instead of just saying, Oh, look, I can fire lightning bolts. You can't yes. dual wield in this game, can you? No, no. unfortunately. Which, if they do, they will do that sequel, Red Dead Redemption. Right? Hey, what did you guys think, so. think, of, think of the Red Dead Redemption? Dull. We didn't play much of it. Oh, I love me some Red I love At the that. first hour, it was just so no, dreary Live and boring. Gold, so I don't, like, I'm not going to be on Xbox Live or anything. Isn't the whole storyline, I'm John Marston, I don't take any shit. Can you help me across the road? All yeah, the yeah, man? yeah, I'd be delighted to. <laughs> yeah, few much. His introduction as a character doesn't really make him seem particularly compelling. It's kind of, I'm John Marston, oh shit, I've been shot. Never mind. I quite like him though, actually. Let, let, let this random really potential polite. love interest that he's never going like, to get involved with randomly hurts him by He still sounds kind of polite. He's extremely polite. I was shot. I wish I was John Marston. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> no, I don't. The old West is pretty horrible. Also, my wife is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they ever make a movie adaptation, they're going to horribly miscast him. I'm guessing Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> I know Owen Wilson. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, what's the blonde guy you always hands out of? Owen oh, Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah. He's already played a cowboy at night in the museum. He, he actually he like, dresses in like a the, cowboy uh, in... Um, as well. He just likes being cowboys, doesn't he? He, he dresses like one in the Royal Tenenbaums, which is probably the best film he's been in. Oh my god, Owen Wilson's the next... Clint Eastwood? Also, don't ah, forget... No. Um, don't oh. forget... Uh, Zoolander. Which... Uh, you, I didn't realize... Actually, but Will, in fairness, we Zoolander live in an age... Wow. When, yeah. like... In the um, Goblin mm. starting area, there's the, the, um, the, the Goblin supermodel is like, fucking around with Diesel. Yeah. Fuel, which I I'd, I'd know isn't watching the um, Total Biscuit play Actually, the uh, start of the era. Well, now I think of it, like we live in an age when like Leonardo DiCaprio is more or less the new Tom Hanks. So, <laughs> hey, hey, no matter what you say, Tom Hanks had some rough beginnings as well. Yeah. I mean, watch Mazes and Monsters. Oh God. I I would I would have happy you know never have discovered that movie existed. Fucking spooning. If only he wasn't so entertaining. <laughs> Do you know yeah, doesn't find him entertaining? Yeah, he's like, long form rants, he's kind of fun. Do you know doesn't find Spoonie entertaining? No. Spike TV. Really? Oh, I heard about that. Uh, if you if you actually watched, um, uh, who's, de- who's Deadliest? What was that about again, yes. anyway? Wasn't that Deadliest him being about the two... Deadliest Warrior? And, yeah, like, it's, they it's they were, like, the funniest you. show ever. <laughs> it's completely fucking retarded, but it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Have you heard about also, Deadliest, the... Deadliest Warrior yes. the game? It's fucking retarded. I killed a, um... Psycho using only a knife. <laughs> Chris, tell me this: How would you react in a fighting game if you could do a ranged one-shot kill from the beginning of the match? I'd probably think, "What the fuck? This is totally unbalanced." Yeah, well, that's what Deadliest Warrior had, and because Spoonie complained, Spike TV actually returned to him, saying, oh, <laughs> well, like, "Fuck you! You're delusional. <laughs> fuck you!" <laughs> Spike TV. A fucking idiots. Oddly enough, on the same subject, Spike TV air TNA Impact. <laughs> oh wow! He must definitely hate it. <laughs> Tom's face barbing just realising that. Okay, I think we've ran out of footage for this part, but expect the next part oh, soon. Ah, shit, midgets! <laughs> <laughs> See you next time! Bye! Thank god they aren't goblins. Gonna hate my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't stopped recording. Yeah, I know. That's we apologise for Tom. He's a complete fuckwit. And uh, I just like being a prick, and no one can tell the difference between. I thought being a prick 